guys, how you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm with the awesome Bob Doyle from The Secret. I just wanted to uh, do a quick Facebook live with the, this awesome guy because um, like as you know like three years ago I did not know what law of attraction was until I had my spiritual awakening and it all that happened and um, I came across the secret and um, and uh, I wanted to meet uh, someone from the secret so I didn't I totally manifested this and the way this happened was just just timely we were at the networking on Friday evening and um, I was going to the toilet and he was just walking, he was, he was just, we just crossed paths. And I was like, yeah, I, I got my way. I got my fist bump immediately. <laughs> yes! He, he knows my fist bump. That's and, right, yes. <laughs> you know, any messages um, that you would like to say about anything? If anyone going through a hard time, how they're not manifesting? Um, yeah, I guess just, uh, do, do, are the people watching, do you have a vision? Do you have a goal? Do you are you feeling some level of dissatisfaction in your life, and you want something more? And if you do want something more, do you know exactly what that is? More importantly, do you know who you want to be in that new vision? Because as I was just saying yesterday, I think it was yesterday or this morning, that if you create a vision from this place that you are, where you're not happy, a lot of times the things that you create in the vision will just be about solving a problem, to fix something that's wrong in it. And so your vision is permeated with every, something's wrong, something's wrong. You don't want that. What you want to do is create a, a, a vision that is congruent with who you want to be, right? How, where things are going great. Not, not that you're trying to change anything, but you're just creating something from scratch. You're not referring to the past to determine what you want. You're just saying, okay, this is who I am now. This, I, I've recreated myself in my mind. And this person would want these things. They're not struggling for money necessarily. They might want nice things, but they're not going after money because they're having a problem. It's just part of who they are. It's part of how they money allows them to contribute and play the bigger game or whatever. So it's just really about deciding what your vision is from who you want to be and not who necessarily you are right now. Yeah, I, I have one question to ask you. You referred to yesterday about creating that mindset. Um, basically, your mind creates your reality. But I, I was struggling with that for for a while because I thought your heart desire is is the fastest way to manifest things. The point, yes, yes, I agree that the heart is more powerful than that. But still, how we interpret what's coming yeah. is through our brain. Right. Yeah. Like we might send the signal, like if we're doing it from the right space, we're sending with our heart, whatever. But the still, whatever comes back, we're still going to interpret with our brain. Yeah. And if our brain isn't ready for it, if, it is, if it's not in alignment, if it's just, it, then we're still going to resist it. Mm. We're still going to push it away. Mm. So that's why I was talking so much about wiring and, and, and you know, that's a whole other conversation yeah. here. But yeah. you know, the reason that we are how we are right now is because we're wired that way in our brain. Mm. And most of our wiring took place completely unconsciously. Yeah, through childhood. And so childhood on, on autopilot. Yeah, but yeah. as adults, we can change that wiring yeah. with, with the intention to do so. Yeah. So we want to make sure that when we change that wiring to create a new experience of how we experience reality, we, we want it to be enjoyable. We want it to be in alignment with exactly who we want to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, the, and, and those of you who are going through hardships and you know my story, like how I lost my dad when I was th like 13 and then I became a carer for my mom at the age of... Uh, age of 14 so I've been caring for her uh, for 15 years and um, there's one thing that I kept telling myself was why is this happening to me that victim mentality was of why me I have nobody else around I'm the carer I'm suffering from this crippling anxiety and depression to a point I could not even leave the house and that mentality is really important for you to be in a positive mindset and sometimes you need to heal those inner uh, wounds first in order to manifest. That's what I find all these years when I was in that mentality. I was trying to be positive, but I wasn't because I wasn't healing those traumas mm -hmm. that was buried inside of me. Mm -hmm. And now it's been two years. I've been clearing all this trash out, consciously sitting with myself and consciously going into my triggers and releasing it afterwards. Now the things that I'm doing now are manifesting where I, three years ago, I was, any, I was a person who couldn't even go to my garden. And now I'm on stages giving live talks to motivating people, winning uh, awards and everything. It, that's all of that through inner healing. 
healing your inner self in order to manifest because you kind of start with a clean state and you whatever you want comes to you after you've done all the trash clearing yeah i agree yeah okay right i'm gonna let bob uh, bob go because it's, it's been a busy day it's been amazing look so at all you. these people yeah it's so amazing <laughs> thank you bob thank you so my much my pleasure all bye, right everybody. bye